Hello, this is Kieran from Server Pro, and today we're back with another tutorial where I'm going to be teaching you how to upload custom or pre made server files to your Minecraft server. So, let's get straight into it. So, before you start with installing server files, you will need to obtain them. So, I've already got some server files downloaded to my computer. As you can see, I have a folder here called Custom Server, and it has all the files needed to start up a server. So you will need to obtain these, whether this is from another host, or your friend has sent you some custom files, or whether you purchased a pre-made server online somewhere, you will need to have them on your computer. Once you have the files on your computer, put them into a folder such as this called custom server, and then you'll want to right click and click send to compress the zip. If you already have a compressed file that ends in .tar, .zip, or something similar, you don't need to do this step. However, if you haven't, please make sure that you do have a .zip or .tar or some sort of compressed file to upload through the file manager. So once you have this, you can go to the control panel for your Minecraft server. Then once you're on the control panel, stop the server, then go to the file manager and delete all the files apart from the server.properties file. So select them all and then click delete. And then once you've done that, click upload file choose files and select the compressed file that we just created or that you may already have. Click open and then click upload from computer. Then give it a few moments to finish uploading it. Then once the file has finished uploading, you should see something like this in the control panel. Select it and then click unzip. And then you should see that folder appear that you recently had. So go into that folder, select all of the files. And then once you've selected every single file, click move and then select the home directory and then that will move them outside of the folder. Now that you've done this, you can delete the .zip or whatever file it was that you uploaded and then delete the folder that the files were also in. Then once you've done that, look for the .jar that this server was running on. So as you can see, it's running on spigot 1.12.2. It may be running on a different one for you, but just try and find the .jar file that it was running on and then go to the my server tab and then under this jar file section here, select the jar file that the server was running on and then click save and restart. And then that's it. You've successfully installed a pre-made or custom server files to your Minecraft server. So now give the server a few moments to start up and you should be able to join it. So as you can see, I've just joined my pre-made server and it's in a custom world already with a little spawn. And if I was to type slash plugins, you can see that it has all the plugins installed also. So that's it, you're done. It's really simple to do. If you need any help with this, please contact our support. They'll be more than happy to help you with any problems that you run into. Other than that, feel free to leave a comment down below with any new tutorials you'd like to see. And thank you for watching. I hope that you have a great day. Goodbye.